to all Ikebana lovers from all over the world and special welcome to our guest demonstrator for today, Mrs. Liuzi Wahayudi from Indonesia. I'm Taruna Agarwal, president of Ikebana International, Mumbai chapter 258. These days, Tokyo is very prominent in world news because of Olympics and Paralympics. We Indians are very proud that our country has won many medals. Now, when it comes to Japan, all Ikebanists have a lovely smile on their face on the mention of Japan. We are all waiting for the borders to open so that we can travel to our favorite destination. Today we have with us Lyuzi Wahoyudi of Ikonobo School, Japan, from Jakarta, Indonesia. She is an excellent artist and a very good teacher. One of our students, Andy Dijati Utomo, had given demonstration for a chapter in December last year and members loved it. They want to call him again. Andy, now you wait. Lucy got interested in flowers from her childhood days. She first started learning Western flower arrangement, but soon started with Ikebana in 1988. She started teaching Ikenobo school from 2003. Her interest, in, interest and passion grew more towards Ikebana Ikenobo. Ikebana has significantly changed her perspective about the natural beauty. Through Ikebana, she realized drying and wilting leaves have their own beauty. She has even learned floral photography because of Ikebana. Lucy has participated in many exhibitions, workshops, and demonstrations in Indonesia, Singapore, and Japan. She has written two books, A Guide to Flower Arranging in 2009, another book, Perfect Imperfections in 2017. Now, Ikenobo School is the oldest and largest school of Japan with its headquarters in Kyoto. It was founded by the Buddhist monk Seno. The name of the school is derived from a pond, Ike in Japanese, where Prince Shotoku was bathing. Ikenobo literally means priest residence by the pond. Now, instead of me talking about Ikenobo School, let the guest master talk about it. Andy will be helping his insight to communicate with us and answer the questions asked by our members. Before I hand over to Lucy, I will request International President Mrs. Miho Okawara to say a few words, and then Mr. Tauji, Council from Japanese Consulate for Information and Culture, will address us. Thank you. Mrs. Miho Okawara. Thank you. Hello. My name is Miho Kawara. I give an international, uh, international person. Actually, my presidency is almost at the end. And for over the two years, I'd like to oh, let me have some few, a few seconds to give my, uh, show my appreciation to all of you here because my presidency is almost ending. And over the two years, my, my presidency started almost like with Corona and with and with Corona. <laughs> but it's ironic, a kind of thanks to Corona, I can be here with you. So how can I say, but anyhow, so far I really uh, want to say thank you to Taruna-san for overcoming this challenging time and uh, giving us so many chances to be re to be united. Thank you very much, Taruna Sam, again and, and again. Thank you. Thank Bye. you so much. And also this time, Lucy Sam from Indonesia. Thank you very much for accepting the, the, the assignment as a demonstrator. And uh, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you, Gibana. And in the near future, I don't know when, but I believe we can be reunited in person. Yeah, anyhow, please be stay, please be well and safe until this pandemic is over. Thank you. Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, Miss Lucy, Master of Ikebana International, Ikenobo School from Jakarta. 
and Ms. Tarana Gawasan, President Ikebana International Mumbai. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to such a wonderful event. I'm delighted to be here today at the online Ikebana demonstration by Ms. Lucy, organized by Ikebana International. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Norita Katauji, Council for Culture and Information Section at Consulate General of Japan in Mumbai. Then, then I'd like to address you on behalf of the Consul General, Dr. Fukahori, today. As you already know, Ikebana is a balanced contemplative art of flower arrangement. This Japanese art is characterized by extreme discipline and minimalism. In order to reveal its essential form, it requires intense study of floral specimen. And then the mark of a true master of Ikebana is to achieve the ultimate expression of humankind's harmony with nature. So today, I think we are privileged to have with us Ikenobo master, Lucy Wahudi, to demonstrate her outstanding floral skills to all the Ike Ikebana lovers. Finally, I'd like to take this opportunity to appreciate the, the, the efforts of Ms. Taruna Agarwa-san and the members of Ikebana International in organizing this wonderful online demonstration and popularizing the art of Ikebana in Mumbai. Thank you. Over to you, Lucy. We're all waiting for your demo. Good evening or good afternoon, everybody. Thank you to each and every one of you for being here in this evening. I'm very pleased to meet everyone present at this online event. Let me introduce myself. I am, my name is Lucy Wahyudi. I teach Ikebana Ikedobo and based in Jakarta, Indonesia. I feel blessed to be invited and given the opportunity to demonstrate the Ikebana Ikenobo series. Before, I would like to thanks to the president of Ikebana International Mumbai Chapter 258, Mr. Taruna Argawal, and the vice president, Mr. Hasa Hinduya, to give me this opportunity. And also, I would like to thank you to the General Consular of Japan, Mr. Tauchi, and the International President Ikebana Tokyo Headquarters, Ms. Miho Oka Wara. Thank you for precious time and attend my demonstration. I feel honored. And also, I want to thank to Andy, to Tres Pangi, and for Ali for helping me in this on online event. With no further ado, I will start my demonstration video. Enjoy. Andy, please. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Andy, uh, and uh, hello, Sensei hello. Lucy is my teacher. Uh, I am also now is the president chapter of the Ikebana Ikenobu Indonesia, and I will be glad to be your co-host for this afternoon and wonderful event. Okay. Uh, we have a very short video about the introduction about the Ikebana Ikenobu and I will play this video just right now and we can uh, chit chat and talking and question and answer just right after the video. Enjoy the video.
as you see in the video, uh, our Econobo school have uh, three different arrangements. There is Jiuka, Shoka, and Rika. I noticed that some of you may be uh, not coming from the Econobo school and uh, you from the Mumbai chapter and all my friends here, all the Ikebana friends, maybe uh, just hear a little bit about the Econobo uh, arrangement. So uh, we are continue to the next video. It's uh, about one of our arrangement that is the Jiuka. Jiuka, it's mean a freestyle in the Ikebana Econobo. We have a short presentation about the Chiyuka. Enjoy. This is a Jiuka, commonly known as a freestyle arrangement. Beginner will learn to understand the flow of each material within this flower arrangement. The Jiuka can also be used for special occasion, such as a gift for children. I make these sock toys by myself using a pair of socks. This is an example for the Jiuka made for the Valentine's Day occasion. To give the more Valentine's Day swipe, I have made the ornament in the shape of heart. Mother's Day is a very special occasion for me, and this juka was made by using a pen as its face. In this arrangement, I have manipulated the shape of the leaf, that is a shape becomes unnatural, unlike its original shape. The newly shaped leaf follows the silhouette of the face. We also see the imperfection of all things in Ikenobo. For instance, the leaf you see are already starting to turn yellow and bitten by bark, but still able to form a beautiful texture. This right here is a mini Ikenobo Ikebana Jiuka. We may use anything as its face so long as it able to contain water. This juka was made for another special occasion, which is none other than Christmas. You can see that I have used ornament related to Christmas, and this time I'm using a tube hang on a log. In this freestyle flower arrangement, I have used tiny slides of bamboos that circle around the face resemble a melody that swing around the arrangement itself. Creativity goes along with handicraft. Since the detail of this juka use sweaker that if have been colored nicely and cut into smaller pieces before being stuck with glue, this juka can be classified as a advanced type of flower arrangement. Okay, hope that the short video about the Jiuka will uh, giving you a pictures about what is the Jiuka, the freestyle in Ikebana, Ikenobu. Now we continue with the first demonstration of Mrs. Uh, Lucy Wahyudi and we have uh, another short video about the Jiuka. This is the first Jiuka arrangement by Mrs. Lucy Wahyudi. Enjoy. I will arrange uh, juka. Juka is mean freestyle. I'm using the ceramic vase. Uh, the shape is very unusual and very interesting. I use equiset tool. I bend it into square. I get this uh, imagination come from the vase. And then I have a chrysanthemum, the blue color. This chrysan already died. I use this color because I want to mix, match the fuzz. Okay, I use two chrysanthemum. One is short, I insert here, and the other one is longer. I like the flower is smile to us, so 
I put like this so this flower can smart. Okay. And then I have a leaf, very nice leaf, but I'm sorry I don't know the name because I take from my garden. I like the the leaf because they are have a design here. Zigzag. It's very interesting. I will use two. One is shorter, one is bigger. So I put here and the other one I insert in the bag. Okay. I'm using a foam here yeah, because the mark of the fuzz is small. And then I want to put another equisitum to make more balance because one already backward, one in the middle, and I want to put one uh, forward so make uh, more dimension. Okay. So, I have three equisetto. And now I'm going to put a uh, roses, very nice color. And the other shorter in the back. Okay. And to make it more contrast, I use chrysanthemum spray, uh, yellow color. Okay, we not use a lot of flour because the fast is small. Equisitum to make more balance because one already backward, one in the middle, and I want to put one uh, forward so make a more dimension. Okay. So, I have three equisetto. And now I'm going to put a uh, roses, very nice color. And the other shorter in the back. Okay. And to make it more contrast, I use chrysanthemum spray, uh, yellow color. Okay, you not use a lot of flour because the fast is small. Yes, we just uh, see the very short video about the Giuka, the first arrangement from St. Lucy. I'm so sorry that there's some uh, uh, disconnection uh, from the Wi-Fi, so a little bit jump out, but you can see uh, the result and this is very nice arrangement. Yes. Is there any uh, comment about this one? Maybe you want to say something, Mrs. Lucy? Yes. Uh, anybody want to ask something? We enjoy actually the connection between your uh, snake grass that you bend uh, and that one is matched with the container that you use. Yes. Okay, maybe if nobody asks, we can continue to the video too. Yeah, okay. Now, Mr. Lucy also uh, making another Jiuka. It's still the Jiuka. Once again, it's the freestyle from the Ikebana Ikenobo. And here is the next arrangement. I will arrange Jiuka or freestyle Ikebana Ikenobo. Using the ceramic fuzz, very unique design. And I, I have a pitolaka, very interesting branch. So I want to use this one. I put here. Yes. This fuzz cannot use a foam or cansan. So I just like that. So I have this leaf for minum tenax. 
This leaf is very stiff, so I tear it into two pieces, make it more soft. So like this. So I have very nice curve. Okay. And I'm using the cymbidium flower. I put in the cube. I use two. So I put here. And this one. Okay, now I insert the leaf. I have using two leaves, one is longer, one is shorter. Okay, very nice movement. Now I use another pitolaka in the back. So the movement is very dynamic. I turn and see, all is going forward. And then for the contrast, I using solanum. Okay, like this. Here I left it empty. So the concentrate only one side. And now for finishing, I using uh, statis, very contrast the color. And I use a bit longer one to make it more movement. Okay, I use wire here so we can move easily. Okay, you can see fr from the side the movement one is uh, forward and I have also in the middle and in the back. So I create a dimension. Yes, Taruna, uh, we just saw the uh, second arrangement from Mrs. Lucy, right? It's a very wonderful arrangement. Uh, <laughs> yes, a lot of nice comment from the chat. Yes. Okay, uh, just my co a comment from myself. Uh, Taruna, I cannot hear you. I think your uh, microphone is still off. Yes. Just a comment from myself. Uh, in Ikenobo, we have a, a, we like to have a asymmetrical uh, design, asymmetrical design. So you, as you see that the in arrangement, one of the container, one side of the container is full of the flowers, but the other uh, side is left empty. So you can see that the uh, contrast in between the left and the right is very asymmetrical, yet it need to be balanced. Okay. <laughs> okay. So without further ado, uh, we will continue to the next arrangement by Sensei Lucy. Enjoy. I'm going to make Jiuka on freestyle. But this time the Jiuka is hanging. We can help on the wall. My name is Relief. 
I'm using uh, ornament here. Here is a cardboard, and I work with the yarn. And we can see from the side. And the cardboard here have a wire, have a wire, so the distance is different one with the other. And then in the back here, I put also cube, plastic cube, for hanging, uh, for put the pilantus here. Inside this cardboard, I put a plastic cube. I put here two plastic cube and one here small plastic cube. This is the medium I want to use for the focal flower, and I already uh, put in a cube, plastic cube, with the bamboo stick, and I will use a wire and the floral tape here. So I can bend it because we have already wire here. I put here one. I have two, and the other one I put here. The flower still can move because the cube still empty. But after we put the flower, the other flower, and they will stay. I use a Simbuscus nigra here. And the other one here. And I have a carnation spray. I already put wire, the carnation, so I can bend it easily. So I want to put here. The longer one. And then I have the shorter one. I will put here inside. Okay. The other side, I'm going to use another carnation. The longer one. and the shorter one. Okay. This pilantus here make the arrangement interesting and make the dimension. Yes, uh, we just finished the third arrangement from Mrs. Lucy. Mrs. Lucy, maybe you add, want to add on some explanation about your Jiuka? Yes, uh, I have uh, made a video for the Zoom today because I, in Jakarta just opened from lockdown. So I cannot uh, have a Zoom live directly. I'm sorry about that. Uh, all the video uh, and the uh, arrangement, I must prepare myself. So if anything not so perfect, uh, sorry about that. Anything we, uh, everybody want to ask something about the arrangement, please. Yes. And thank you for the comment. A lot of comment I see in the chat room. What is the green material you have used? Pardon me? Green material. Creeper green falling, material creeper falling down what is that oh pil pilantus we call it pilantus yeah i got it from my garden beautiful beautiful arrangement very nice thank you so much okay uh, everyone uh, hope you enjoy the jiuka arrangement okay as uh, i mentioned before in the ikanobo school we have three different uh, arrangement the first one is the Ji Jiuka, or we call it a freestyle, freestyle in Ikebana Ikenobu. Now we will continue with the second arrangement. Second arrangement in the Ikenobu school is what we call Shoka. We have a short presentation about what is Shoka. Enjoy the short video presentation.
Okay, uh, it still need a few seconds to be ready. Uh, just hang on here. Uh, once again, I just uh, want uh, to remind you that uh, Indonesia now, Jakarta especially, is just uh, open from the lockdown. So during this presentation, Mrs. Lucy need to uh, make a short video by herself because we cannot, uh, it's not uh, healthy to come to Mrs. Lucy house to helping her because uh, everyone here is uh, very uh, concerned about uh, both of us uh, uh, health problems. Of course, uh, government's rules uh, uh, ask us to still stay at home. So uh, Mrs. Lucy need to uh, give her best effort to make the video by herself. We really appreciate this, Mrs. Lucy. Okay. Thank now so we uh, continue yeah, with the short presentation of the Shoka arrangement. This is an Isu Ike Shoka Sofutai made by using only one type of material. By arranging a soka sofutai, we learn to be disciplined since we are obligated to follow its rule. This soka sofutai use two different type of material we call it nisu ike shoka. This soka sofutai use maximum of three different type of material we call it Sansu Ike Shoka. The Shoka Simputai use heliconius at its membranes and pandan leaf their supporting material. Lysianthus flower as the acerai, known as the complementary elements. This yoka use spatitulum leaf that display its beautiful surface at, with line. Balance the highly dynamic roscomia. This yoka look very much alive because the movement of the material. The carnation in this arrangement function as the supporting material for the gypsophila. The iris leaves serve a filler or additional material providing an impression of movement of the flower arrangement itself. The anthurium in this arrangement appear to be very dominant in terms of shape and color. The spore leaves do make a good harmonious couple within this arrangement as well. The main flower of this arrangement is the anthurium while the memechelon serves as the second. The leaf functions as the complementary element that creates a soft impression of the arrangement. Suaranya, suara mute. Test, mute. Test, yes. There is a short presentation about the Shoka arrangement. Uh, to who, uh, who uh, from not coming from the Ikenobu school, maybe uh, you will think that this Shoka arrangement is a very simple arrangement. Trust me, it is simple, but it is not easy to make that one beautiful. Because more simple, less material that you use, it will be more difficult. You need to concern about everything. Choosing of the materials, uh, the texture, the color, how to place that one. Half centimeters different is a lot of different and that affect the beauty of your arrangement. Now we will continue for the first arrangement, the first demonstration from Mrs. Lucy about the Shoka. Enjoy the demonstration. I will arrange Shoka. Shoka Oh, 
they have a bit uh, black little fruit here. The main branch we call is so. For Shoka Simputai, very simple. We only can use three kind of material. So very easy and fast to arrange Shoka Simputai. This is the main branch that we call is so. And then we need the second branch for the harmonized thing to so. I use this iris leaf. We call it yo for support supporting the main branch. I will make it a bit curve and I insert forward. Okay. Because why? Because I want to balance the memetella stream. The stream is forward so the leaf also forward. I will use two iris stem. For Shoka Simputai, we cannot use uh, wire. We just uh, use like that uh, naturally. The second branch that I put here. Okay, like this. And the third branch, I use uh, roses. The roses, I want to put behind. Yeah. Look like this. This is Shoka Simputai using only three kinds of material. Very easy and very fast. Yes, hope you enjoy the uh, video presentation, the first uh, shoka from Mrs. Lucy. Uh, I just want to make a comment, uh, Mrs. Lucy. Uh, I'm uh, very uh, glad but surprised at the same time because you use the yellow flowers, the roses, behind your arrangement. Usually a lot of us like to see the beauty of the flowers and put the yellow flowers in front, not behind. Maybe you have a special reason why you put the yellow flowers, I think that one is roses, behind, not in the front. <laughs> yes, because number one, the flower is big. Okay. And then number two, for me, everything beautiful, no need always in the front. Sometimes we need in the back for supporting. That is okay. a little bit philosophy there. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, I saw that maybe your first material, uh, the branches is very nice. Uh, I think that you, uh, I agree with you. If you put the yellow flowers in front, I think the yellow flowers will competing with the main branches. And uh, in the Econobo arrangement, I'm sure that uh, one need to be more dominant and the others is... Uh, uh, less dominant. So I am totally agree with you that the yellow flowers will be better uh, uh, at the behind, at the rear. It still uh, look, uh, we still can see it, but uh, it's not uh, competing with the main brands. Very nice presentation. Okay, Thank we will so continue. Much. Yeah, we will continue with the second uh, arrangement about the shoka from Mrs. Lucy, and hope you enjoying more about this shoka. I'm using agapanthus for the main branch. I insert in the middle of the cancer. The second material for supporting, I using the iris leaf. Because I see the agapanthus uh, don't have any leaf. So, the iris is so beautiful, the curve is so nice, I will insert in front of the agapanthus. Yeah. I using two, one is shorter in front. Okay.
So this is the main branch, this is the supporting branch. Now, I need the third material for the uh, additional, for the asirai. I have very nice pitolaka. I love the movement. So, I will insert this one in the front. Okay. See the contrasting, the movement here and the agapatus here very straight. And then I have another pitolaka for the uh, asirai. I want to insert in the back. Okay. It's very uh, fast, very easy to make shokasi putai because we use only little material and can be only use three kind of material. Okay, that's the end of the second video about the shoka. Uh, uh, it is a very simple arrangement, but again, it's not easy to make that one beautiful. The less of the flowers, it is more difficult for you to uh, uh, make it. Yes. Uh, the second one, I think, is uh, as beautiful as the first one. I can see the contrast between the first material, the agapanthus flowers, and the leaf. You can see that the agapanthus flower is straight uh, and the leaf is curving. Uh, it's a, a suggestion and an ikenobu arrangement that between your first material and the second material, it need to be contrast yet need to be harmonized in each other. So one straight flowers and one curving leaf, I think is the best and ideal uh, flowers and um, floral material to combine. One flowers, uh, one kind of leaf, uh, both is contrasting yet harmonized. Okay, uh, maybe if you have some questions, uh, we are ready to answer your questions. Mrs. Taruna, Andy, is there any question from you? Andy, yeah. I want to ask. Yes. Uh, it's not necessary to cover the pen holder because then you look straight at the arrangement, pen holder was not showing. But when you put it down, the pen holder was showing in the picture. So not necessary uh, to cover the pen holder. Uh, yes, uh, in the Ikenobo, uh, the pin holder, we call that one is Kensan. Majority has a post uh, underneath the Kensan. So there's a post, yes. So in that post, it will be make your Kensan will be more uh, stable in your containers. And that's why uh, Mrs. Lucy can handle to make, uh, uh, let's say, uh, the very short, uh, very small container, but a very tall uh, flowers and leaf. And the Kensan will have no problem. It will be strong enough and to supporting all the floral materials. Maybe uh, Mrs. Lucy want to uh, add something? No, I want to ask you, you don't cover the pen holder with any leaf or anything? Nothing? Uh, no. no, no, no. In the Ikenobo arrangement, the Shoka arrangement, you can see the pin holder. But okay. of course, the pin holder, yes, you can okay. see the pin holder. But of course, the pin holder is under uh, the water. Yeah. Yes, yes. 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 We the only water. see the water. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Now with this, uh, we are improving that uh, some of the Ikenobo uh, pin holder now are colored black. Now are colored black. Why? Because when you uh, have the black pin holder and you put some black pebbles uh, around the uh, kensan or around the pin holder and you pouring the water, so your black uh, pin holder are almost uh, invisible and under the water. Yes, uh, it's just uh, recently we have the black pin holder. Usually our pin holder is colors uh, silver uh, at, at the bottom and gold uh, in the pin. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, uh, without the further ado, we are uh, introducing you the third arrangement of the Ikenobo School. The third arrangement of the Ikenobo School is the oldest one. It's uh, developed a uh, hundred years ago, and this is this is really really the origin of the Ikebana Ikenobu. The third arrangement that we want to introduce is called Rika. Once again, it's called Rika. 
We have the short presentation about the Rika and hope you enjoy the video. This Rika Sofotai is categorized as a basic Rika arrangement for beginners. Beginners must learn the placement of the material branches according to the rule, because each material branch within this arrangement has its own place and function. This Rika Sofotai is also categorized as a basic Rika arrangement. It uses heliconias. For this Rika Sofutai, there is already a little movement from its basic. It uses a short farce and its silhouette is not the same with a basic Rika. This arrangement is also not a basic Rika Sofutai. The arranger may include some of his or her feeling into the arrangement, unlike the basic Rika arrangement. This is Rika Simputai. Highlight the color. The matching color between the flower and the face have formed a harmonious unity within this Rika. In this Rika Simputai, I have combined the slightly static line with the very dynamic one. The curve of the pilodendron leaf support the hydrangea well, creating a highly energetic impression of this arrangement. Support by the soft movement of the fan leaf, the lily rose has become the prima donna within this rika. Also, the tall fast create an elegant impression of this arrangement. This pair of rika simputai were made using glasses. To make such an arrangement, one needs to have high experience, creating a pair of two arrangements that must be seen as one is definitely a bigger challenge. Andy and I tried to make Rika Simputai by using three faces. This is such a wonderful and fun collaboration, and it surely needs a teamwork to create a harmonious flower arrangement. This is one of the Rika Simputai arrangements you can find in my book, Perfect in Perfection. Another pair of Rika Simputai can also be found in my book. I must say that a challenge of creating such an arrangement isn't always about experience, but also taking its picture. I have published this book about Rika Simputai because to me, a Rika Simputai is a very attractive flower arrangement since our feelings have a great role in creating it. We must listen to the unspoken and read the unwritten. I personally believe that creating a Rika Simputai is a form of meditation, which is why I call it moving meditation. Test, test. Yes, that's about the video about short presentation about the Rika. I just read the comment. Uh, some comments are really nice that uh, mentioning that uh, the container are amazing. Yes, as you see, there's, uh, there's a lot of the Econobo container that is small at the bottom, but big at above. Yes, uh, as a man, I will say that that one is a really elegant and I can see that it's look 
like a woman wearing a stiletto high heels. Don't you agree? Of course, women in the stiletto high heels are always elegant. But of course, sometimes we need to really careful if you when you be using a very uh, small uh, bottom uh, container because sometimes it's become uh, unstable. But don't worry, the Japanese container are really heavy uh, uh, and stable. So when we put pebbles inside, it will become very heavy and it will support your arrangement. Okay, Mrs. Lucy, maybe you want to uh, add something about uh, the Rika? Yes, uh, Rika for me is uh, very special, very interesting. Uh, then uh, Rika is the proud for, uh, from the member of Ikenobo is very proud to learn Rika because it's not easy, but it's uh, very enjoyable. And I fall in love with that, so I make a book special about Rika. Then uh, maybe uh, we can see my devotee's uh, tradition about Rika. Andy. Yes, of course. We continue the first demonstration about the Rika arrangement. Yes, once again, Mrs. Lucy, this is uh, we are very proud about the Rika arrangement. And at the Ikenobu School, uh, we learn about that one in the advanced level of student. So the junior and the basic and the intermediate student are not yet permit to uh, learning about the Rika. Before they need to have some understanding about the material and other uh, arrangement of the Ikenobu School before they can learning the Rika. We will uh, shortly uh, see the video about the uh, Lucy's demonstration, Mrs. Lucy's demonstration about the Rika arrangement. Enjoy. I will arrange Rika, Rika, uh, Rika Simputai. I'm using a ceramic vase and Kensa. I have a Pitolaka brands with very dynamic, very beautiful brands. I want to use this for the main brands. I, I insert here in the middle of the cancer. Yes. You see, the branches is very nice, very dynamic. And then, in the middle part, I'm using heliconia. I put in front of the pitolaka. The pitolaka is the main branch, so I need the second branch for supporting that we call is yo. This time I use a pandan leaf because I see the pandan, the movement is so beautiful. So I want to insert next to the pitolaka. Here I also already uh, insert the wire. And I tie with wire to make it uh, steady. The pandan leaf go to forward. I have two pandan leaf. The smaller pandan leaf I insert in the back. And I tie it. And I have a uh, anturium. The color very matching with the pitolaka. I want to put here. Then I have a uh, neprolepis. It's a fern. I take off half the leaf. And I want to insert in the back. Okay, I have dry leaf, very nice, but I'm sorry, I don't know the name of this leaf. I want to use here. Because I already uh, use a lot of line material, so I need surface material for balance the arrangement. And I like the color, the color matching my pitolaka and the antrium. And in the front part, I use flower, Ginia flower. 
I use two. I insert here and the other one in the front of the heliconia. Okay. And I have this uh, Calatea. I want to insert here in the lower part. And uh, in the front part, I use a leaf, a mirrored leaf. I use three. This one already also insert the wire and cover with floral tip. So I have the longest one. I put in a front and then a shorter one. Next and the shorter one here okay like this from you see from the front and the finishing part i have the rattan fruit and the solanum because i need uh, the color for contrast it so the rattan fruit i put here all the steam we must wire and after we wire we have a bending point the bending point we call is the after we have we know already where we want to bend then we press with the plier press with the plier otherwise uh, can be broken after softer and then we bend like this Yes, so now I will insert here. Okay. Very beautiful arrangement about the Rika, and that one is the first arrangement uh, of Rika from Mrs. Lucy. Uh, I just want to uh, spot a question here at the chat. There's somebody asking, uh, I believe uh, she is not coming from the Ikenobu school, asking, is it true that in the Ikenobu school uh, about the Rika, there's an exact uh, rules about every stem in the Rika arrangement? Maybe I will let Mrs. Selusi to uh, answer about this one. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have two kind of Rika, Rika Sofutai and Rika Simputai. In Rika Sofutai, they have a certain rule that we must follow. In Rika uh, Sofutai also have many types. We have a classic one uh, that is uh, really must be follow the rule, but uh, we cannot uh, make in outside Jepang, especially in Indonesia, because we don't have the material. In Japan, they are using the special material to grow there, and the name of the rika is a uh, classic. We call it cotton rika or Meiji rika. There, uh, there are very uh, strict rules. We must follow it. But we have also more modern, even in Rika Sofutai, that means uh, they have rule, but not too strict that we can uh, break the rule a bit. And then we have another Rika that um, the modern one we call is Rika Simputai. That in Rika Simputai, the arranger uh, is, uh, can do anything that we want, that we like, that we see. So the rule is not so strict. That is a uh, about of uh, Rika. Maybe Andy want to um, give something else for yes, the. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Lucy, for the explanation. You are one hundred percent correct. Yes, uh, uh, the arrangement that Mrs. Lucy just demonstrating is the modern version of the Rika arrangement. 
uh, we call the modern version because the material that uh, she used is a non-Japanese material. It is a material that we can find here easily in Jakarta in the tropical country, just like there uh, from the Mumbai chapter in the tropical country also. And now the headquarters in the Kyoto uh, are more focusing about uh, the modern uh, Rika because we are uh, all uh, noticed that the classical Rika are uh, really uh, difficult to make it uh, two days because uh, it's not easy to find the material. Now the modern one, uh, the small, uh, the new modern uh, version of the Rika also uh, quite smaller than the original one. Because now we are realized that in Japan, the house, the apartment and the living room are much more smaller. It's almost no one who have the tokonoma by itself. But I think here, I still see that uh, Mrs. Miho Okawara still have the tokonoma behind you. <laughs> yes, but I believe, that, I believe that not so many persons still have the tokonoma in her house. So it will be difficult for the classical Rika or the old fashioned uh, Botrika to display. So now we develop a, a modern one that is much, much, much more smaller. So it will be uh, put somewhere in your small apartment on your or in your living room. <laughs> okay, yes, we will continue with the second arrangement of the Rika uh, and hope you will more enjoy this. And this one is the uh, last uh, arrangement from Mrs. Lucy. I will arrange Rika, Rika Simputai. I'm using uh, ceramic vases and using Kansan in the middle. The Rika here, we have a main branch, we call it Su. This is my main branch, Pilantus. Yeah, Pilantus. All the branches need to be wire and then need to be bent. This is the bending point that we call is the. Okay, I insert the main branch in the middle of the cancer. And then the second branches to support the main branch, we call is yo. I have a very nice movement, berry, that we call it uh, pitolaka. So I want to use as uh, supporting the pilantus. So I insert uh, next to the pilantus. Okay. I use uh, scabiosa globosa for the supporting. I want to insert here behind the pilotaka. Okay. And then I have a uh, heliconia, very straight. I want to insert in the center, in the center. And then now I'm using a leaf. This one I already wire and bending point. The bending point here we call is the. I like to see the back of the leaf because they have a texture here. So I want to insert here. And I will be tied with a wire. The movement of the leaf is one direction with the scabiosa and the pilotaka. And then I have an iris leaf here, the variegata iris leaf. I also put the wire for the bending point. I want to insert here in front. I will using two leaf. One is shorter. And then in this side, I use a solanum berry with very uh, contrast color. I will insert here. Okay. 
And then I have a single carnation spray. I want to insert here. And I will tie, tie it with the wire. Okay. I have another branches, the berry branches I want to use here. In the middle part, I use a statis. I put here in the center. I have some. Okay, I have another leaf, the Gardenia variegata. I want to use in the lower part. Okay, and the finishing, I use a flower. Only one stem of carnation spray. I put here. Just picking a little bit, and then the Crisan spray. This is from the side. So the Rika, the, the movement is very wide. Some branches is toward, some branches is backward. Like this. We must see all the branches very clear, cannot be overlapped. Cannot, cannot hear. Hello, Tastas. Tas. Yes. Okay. That's the second and the last uh, demonstration from Mrs. Lucy about the Rika arrangement. In the last picture, you will see that uh, you can see that the Kensan or the pin holder are almost uh, invisible because that one is put under the water uh, circling by the black pebble. Okay. Uh, uh, I hope all of you enjoy the video. Okay. And uh, we are glad that Mrs. Lucy uh, decided to make a, a lot, a lot of short video presentation, especially about the Rika. As you notice, uh, every one and each of the stem in the Rika arrangement are wired and bent according to the uh, designer's choice. And Mrs. Lucy already prepared that one and made a video presentation to make it faster because we cannot uh, wait Mrs. Lucy to wire and bend each of the stem one by one. Uh, I believe if she decided to uh, make that one live, I think this session will not finish until midnight. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why uh, Mrs. Lucy uh, decided to make a video that ma make it as easier and enjoy to see the video. Okay, uh, now we still have a few minutes for the question and answer. Maybe Mrs. Taruna want to ask something or maybe make a comment about the demonstrations, please. Thank you, Lucy and Andy, for the lovely demonstration in spite of the lockdown. It was beautiful, beautiful. Now, Harsha Induja will give a vote of thanks. If anyone wants to ask a question, please put it in the chat so Harsha can repeat it for you. I don't think anyone has asked any question as such. <laughs> yes, but I think they are to enjoy to because see the video presentation. So maybe they uh, like to enjoy uh, without the questions. Okay, uh, before uh, we are closing the sessions, uh, I just want to inform you something. Uh, Mrs. Lucy already made a very uh, nice book about the Rika arrangement. If you are interested to have the book, it is a coffee table book. You can learn and enjoy at the same time. You just easily uh, go into the Mrs. Lucy website. Uh, very easy is you just type her name, okay, www.lucywahyudi.com. And a lot of information will be, uh, you will get about uh, her book, her website, and of course, her YouTube channel, 
uh, Mrs. Lucy have so many arrangement in the YouTube channel that you can enjoy a new uh, YouTube uh, will be posting weekly, uh, usually at the weekend. Uh, so during the lockdown, we wish that the lockdown will be finished uh, very soon. But if you still have a spare time at the lockdown, you just open uh, Sensei Lucy Wahyudi YouTube and you will get a free uh, demonstration and uh, entertainment about the Ikenobo arrangement. Okay, back to you, Taruna. One second, before Harsha, you asked. Andy, I want to know where we can get this Ikenobo vases on. Okay. Any online site you can give us? Uh, yes, of course. The Ikenobo uh, headquarters in the Kyoto also have the shop. It's called the Karaku shop. You just visit the Ikenobo headquarters website and you will link to the shop. You can order online. Now their online system are really, really uh, good and uh, very trustful. So uh, anytime I order uh, in five days, your container and your pin holder and uh, will be arrived in your doorstep. So uh, it is uh, very com convenient and they have really, really hundreds of uh, nice containers. Uh, Taruna, just careful to using your credit card, okay? Because there's a lot, a lot of nice containers. So please be aware of your limit of your credit card, okay? Thank you. Okay, over to Harsha. Okay. Thank you, Taruna. Not only uh, flowers. Okay. Harsha, she's saying something. Yes, Thank Mrs. you Lucy, for you want all... to say something? Yeah. Yes. Maybe Taruna want to talk something about? No, no, no. Lucy, you say. Oh. After okay. okay. Thank you for all of your passion. I hope you all enjoy my demonstration video. I wish you all very good evening. Stay healthy and happy. Till we meet again in another time. Thank you so much. Okay. Asha, now you can talk. Thank you, Lucy. Not only flowers, but also buds and withered flowers have life and each has its own beauty. By arranging flowers with reverence, one refines oneself. This quote is by Seno Ikenobo. Indeed, Lucy, you have created magic by your minimalistic yet very effective arrangements. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Your Ikenobo arrangements have left a deep impact for us and we shall remember, remember them for a long, long time. The colors are very subtle and so pleasing to the eye. Your vases are so unique, so we are all going to order them online and be happy arranging them your style. They are so, the flowers and foliage complement each other perfectly. If your vase is yellow and green, then you make sure that the foliage you use is of another shade of green by which the vase stands out and is highlighted. And then you give a contrast in using the flower of another striking color by which every material used has its individuality and uniqueness and everything stands out very very strikingly your books i'm sure they will help us a lot in learning a lot about your style today we have enjoyed our ikebana journey through your style and perception your concept of combination is amazing and worth admiring we are extremely delighted to experience the joy and happiness you have given us today. Creativity has no boundaries and you have very well proved it to us. On behalf of Ikebana International Mumbai chapter, I thank you for this mesmerizing demonstration and I'm sure everyone is thrilled with it. Thank you so much, Lucy. You're welcome. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, all of you. The viewers from all over the world. Thank you, Mihosan. Thank you, Mr. Tauchi. You. 
ਕਿ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ 